This video explains the purpose of the pool pack in EWAC medical hydrotherapy pools and will show how the pool pack can be set and calibrated. Every pool becomes infected with bacteria and viruses, and these are carried into the pool by patients when they enter the water. Because most therapy pools are operated between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius, therapy pools offer an ideal environment for bacteria and viruses to grow. To counter bacterial growth, chlorine is constantly added to the water. Water hygiene is especially important in the case of vulnerable patient groups, as they can have increased susceptibility to infection due to recent injury or surgery. The pool pack is a measurement and controlling device that keeps track of the pH and the chlorine levels of the water and, if needed, triggers pumps to add acid or chlorine to the swimming pool water. In this way, the pool pack ensures that the water quality is maintained within the right limits. How the pool pack is connected Every EWAC medical therapy pool is fitted with a specially designed filtration system which has a supply and a return pipe. A measurement device is connected between the supply and return. Mounted right next to the measurement cell is the pool pack controlling device. Somewhere in the same technical area we will be able to find a pH dosing pump which is connected to a container with acid. And another dosing pump which is connected to a container with a chlorine solution. The measurement cell measures the pH, the chlorine content of the water, the temperature and the flow and feeds the signals to the pool pack. The pool pack then compares the actual situation with its settings and when there is a deviation it sends a signal to the chlorine or pH dosing pump to correct it. The pool pack controlling device. The layout of the pool pack is divided in two. The left side of the panel is used for pH controlling. The right side of the panel is used for chlorine controlling. On the left side we see a pH value display which is currently displaying a measured value of 7.1. The two arrow keys below can be used to adjust the set point. The adjustment area is used to change the settings and calibrate the unit. The two keys below the adjustment area can be used to switch between automatic and manual pH dosing. On the upper right side the measured chlorine value is displayed. With the keys below it the settings and the calibration can be changed. And again below it we find the adjustment area for setting the desired value and calibration. And again with the buttons below it we can switch between automatic and manual dosing of chlorine. This alarm LED will light when there's too much deviation. How to calibrate the pH value? First we isolate the measurement cell by shutting off the valve before and after it. Then we remove the bottom cap from the measurement cell. We use a small cup to avoid spilling water on the floor. Empty the cap completely. Now notice that the cap has two different sides. One is deep and one is shallow. Turn the cap with the deep end facing upwards. Take the bottle of PH7 buffer fluid and take off the lid. Then fill the deep end of the cap up to about 5 mm below the rim. Then pick up the cap and screw it back into the measurement cell. Turn the pull pack into pH calibration mode by pressing the white arrow. Then press the button Auto Calibration Start. The red indicator next to the button will light up to indicate that auto-calibration is commencing. 
After a while, the indicator above it will light up to indicate that the auto calibration was successful. Now that the calibration is finished, the unit can be set back into measuring mode by pressing the white arrow. Now we can remove the calibration cup from the measuring unit. The calibration fluid can be poured back into the container. After that, the cap can be screwed back into the measuring unit with the shallow side up. Once the cap is tightened, the isolating valves before and after the measurement unit can be opened again. This will allow water to flow through the measurement unit again. How to calibrate the chlorine value. Open the sample tap and pour about a coffee cup of water from the system. Throw this water away. And then pour another coffee cup full of water. With this water we will perform the measurement. Use a syringe to take water from the coffee cup and then pour exactly 10 milliliters of water into the glass cuvette. As you can see here, the lowest line of the water level should match exactly with the line on the glass. To make sure there's no fingerprints on the outside, we clean the outside of the cuvette before placing it into the measurement unit. Then we place the black rubber cap. We turn on the pool tester. Make sure that CL2-5 is highlighted. Then press the left top button to make a clear water reading. Now the pool tester is calibrated for clear water. Take the cuvette with the test water out of the pool tester. Take off the lid making sure you don't leave any fingerprints on the cuvette. Then take out the box with DPD-1 type tablets. Take out one strip of tablets and make sure the strip is marked DPD-1. And then Without touching the tablet, drop one tablet into the cuvette. You will see that the tablet starts to dissolve. Crush the tablet with a tablet crusher. Make sure that the tablet is totally dissolved and all the bubbles have disappeared. Then gently place the cuvette back into the pool tester and seal it with the lid. Make sure that CL25 is highlighted. Then press the top right button to make a reading. As you can see the reading is 0.87 mg per liter. Repeat pressing the button to make sure the reading has stabilized. Once we are sure that the reading has stabilized we can use the reading to calibrate the chlorine measurement of the pool pack. The pull pack should be reading 0.9 instead of 0.6. Press the white arrow to switch to calibration mode. Use the black arrow to change the value in the display. Press enter to confirm. Now press the white arrow twice to check the set point. The set point is 0.5. To reach that, the chlorine content has to come down from 0.8. Now take out the Q-Fit with the test water. Empty the cuvette in a sink and rinse with plenty of water. Now you know how a pool pack is set and calibrated. For more information please visit our website eucmedical.com.